No two children are alike, and those with autism can face an extra challenge, especially when it comes to learning. And that's why a school in Newmarket is giving special attention to their students to help move them forward with success. As our Susan Hay reports tonight in Making a Difference. Can you find Monday for me? I found Monday. Making Small Talk offers private schooling to children with autism. It's from every ability of autism, so we have some low-functioning, non-verbal children up to Asperger's. They provide a ministry-approved curriculum using computer-based programs, which include peer-integrated social skills and one-on-one -on -one therapy in a natural environment for children in JK to grade 8. What are you teaching the children in this program that they haven't picked up elsewhere? Very basic skills like just waiting the turns, um, listening, raising your hand, sitting when it's circle time, and giving the children expectations, and the children rise to those expectations. It's a lot of skills that the typical children pick up naturally. Kids with on the spectrum, they just miss the cues. So we can break all those skills down and teach them individually. Can you show me the triangle? Yeah. Put a circle around it. A high staff to student ratio of qualified and trained senior therapists work on the skills the child has not yet developed in order to prepare them for mainstream school. And now his comprehension is just clicking in. Linda knows through her therapy on how to get the best out of an autistic mind and give them all the growth potential that they have. But above and beyond that, she's helping me. We'd like to, to equip them because they're the ones who have the child the majority of the time. So we need to give those the skills so that the child can be successful in every environment. Four months ago, yoga was implemented into the classroom every morning for a half hour, providing the children with a good positive start to the day. It works with spatial awareness and focusing. I've noticed a decrease in anxiety. What changes have you noticed in Tommy since he's been coming to Making Small Talk? Dramatically in almost every way. He's learning social skills. He's learning how to sit still. Now he's interacting. Oh, that's a cool one. Yeah. They can excel in so many different areas with autism. There's so much hope and so much promise. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> so much promise, and I think that's a big part of it, isn't it? Absolutely. Okay, how successful has this program been? Well, Tommy, for instance, yes. um, he was diagnosed just before he was four, and at that point, um, from two years old, when I met him, he was screaming, he was nonverbal, mm -hmm. he couldn't sit still. Now he's five, he was going there for over a year, and he talks, you can see he reads, he interacts, yeah. he focuses, so there's a lot of miracles there on a daily basis. A full school year runs from September to June, three days a week from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Most children attend public school or daycare in between. What making small talk does is prepare them for mainstream school. Aside from the school program, they offer preschool and after-school tutoring and special individual one-on-one -on -one programs. Making Small Talk is not a government-funded center. It's all out of pocket for these families, which makes it much more difficult. To learn more tonight, please visit GlobalToronto.com and of course, follow the links to Making a Difference. But the founder, Linda, and what her team of trained specialists are doing, they're making things happen, making miracles happen every day, and also fundraising for families who can't afford to take right, I was their going children to say, there. What if you don't it's have quite the expensive. money? expensive. Yeah. Because All right. it's not funded across nope. the board. Mm -hmm. no. I know a lot of parents with autistic children are saying, why not? And then why not? I know, continues. it's hard. Yep. Okay. Thanks, Susan. Thanks, You're welcome. Well, while things get tense before the big election day tomorrow, 